Hey, what's going on everybody? It's me, Snoops, back at it again with another video for 2K20. This is another build video, as you guys can see. This is going to be the most underrated center build that I have found. Not a lot of people would understand why this build is a thing. But I can honestly see this build having potential of people use it. And if they use it properly, properly with the right lineup and everything like that. So let's go ahead. Let's get into it. So of course, we are a center. We're going to do primary playmaking. <laughs> this is... Yikes. Primary playmaking, huh? Anyway. Post moves. You know, we're, we're getting the 30 playmaking badges here. We can do like close shot, standing dunk, post... All that stuff. So we can do that right there. But we have 30 playmaking, 15 shooting, 10 finishing badges. This is how you want it to be pretty much. Playmaking, shooting. You, you want to have the, the slashing of it, but literally have like one one defense. Burley, we're going to put it down to 611 so we can get the extra pass accuracy, the ball handling, as well as the shooting. You can also increase your weight if you want. If you want to go ahead and increase your weight, go ahead and do that. And then minimize your wingspan so you can get the shooting up as well as your ball handling, but... <laughs> Having Playmaker take over, and we have made a post Playmaker similar to Nikola Jokic, Nikola Vucevic, and Al Horford. And uh, depending on where your things are at, it might also say Carl Anthony Towns. So this is literally toxic. If you guys remember my last video, I talked about um, the best badges for centers for Pro-Am. And I literally talked about this build and how this build could probably be really, really toxic. I showed this build. I'm like, this might be a really interesting build. But right now, run Intimidator. I always run Intimidator. Just because it's the most overpowered batch you can get. So let's see here. You had Back Down Punisher. Let's do Fancy Footwork on Gold because it'll be really, really toxic. And then, um, let's see here. What else should we have? I guess we're, we're really not doing too much. But, um, because we go do deep hooks and then contact finisher. I don't know. I, I might as well just go for those. Shooting badges, we could do deep fades. I don't know how well deep fades works, so I would just go with hot zone hunter on gold, um, range extender on gold. Pick and pop on gold, quick draw on gold, dead eye. Dead Iron Gold, something like that. Like, eh, I would go with something like this. Yeah, this is definitely something that I would go with. So these badges, definitely something that I would go with. And then playmaking, this is where everything comes into play. Boom. Boom. Go ahead, let's get that. Let's get that. <laughs> as well as that. Like I mentioned, like for playmaking, these are going to be like the main priority badges. But oh my god. This is this is hella toxic. This literally is going to be hella toxic. Look at this. Look at this. Break starter Hall of Fame, Quick First Step Hall of Fame, Post Spin Technician Hall of Fame, Needle Threader Hall of Fame, Flashy Passer. Yikes, yikes. So yeah, we are a playmaker, so that's why I put in Break Starter, Dimer, Needle Threader, Flashy Passer. 
quick first step is really toxic. Then having postman technician, because we also can post score a little bit. Um, having that space creator for post fades is really nice, as well as unplockable, so we don't get ripped. So this is pretty much a toxic build, guys. I think that this build has a lot of potential if it's used by the right people. And uh, if you run this build with the right badges, with the right squad, I guess. Um, but other than that, I feel like that this this has potential. Definitely has potential. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the in the comment section below, guys. And like the video if you did enjoy this video. Leave your feedback in the comment section. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And uh, hit that bell notification icon so you know whenever I upload a video. So anyway guys, that's going to be it for this one. This is a little short, but I knew exactly what I wanted to do, and I already showed this build off a little bit. So anyway, hope that you guys enjoyed, and as always, I'll talk to you all in the next one. Later, everybody.